Hello, my dashers. Okay, so the car soul. This little bad boy is going to go on the back end of my barn door Pro Master City Tradesman cargo van. So, come on. Let's set this bad boy up. First, we're going to take it out of the bag. Now, it comes with poles and a rain fly. So, we're just going to put all those aside at the moment. All the guy lines. Everything. And we take this out of the bag. I roll it out and I just set it aside. This is the fun part. I pop it open. Now I look to see. where the poles go in. There's little pockets here for each pole. So, I wanna make sure that it doesn't go up and down, but it actually goes this way. So, Be tight. Now you take your poles and you go ahead and extend them all, all four of them. All right, after you get all four of them, now you're ready to put them in the little slots. As you can see, they have four little pockets here. So we're gonna put them in the pocket. I usually start with the bottom because the bottom has the teepee. and it's plugged in. I'm gonna do the other side. And these are regular temp poles, so they'll bend a little. And there you go, you have one. Again, still maintaining a TP. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Maintain your teepee as much as you can. Now close the door. Put it in the little container, a little hole. You might have to play around with it. So you pop it and then do the same for the other side. Now sometimes you're not going to be able to do it so that's okay just leaving one end because now we're going to do the top of it. Again, put in the top. Now let's go do the other side, the last one. Oh, I have this. This is gonna go on my driver's side right here. So this needs to be tipped up that way. How easy was that, right? <laughs> This now can go over the car. And let's show you how that's done. So I'm gonna line this up 
to pretty much where the end of my car is. And then I'm going to take the top and I'm going to put it over my top, over my car. Just like that. So now you can see it's going to go right over the top. So make sure that it's pretty much even and it's snug up to the car. Now Mojix comes with these little five magnets. There's two sets of them. So what I do is I will take my first magnet, go all the way to the end of the rope, and I'll make that my first point. So I pull it, and I'll put the magnet on. Grab the second one, right on up. Take the third one. So there's, I'm going to fold this over a bit. Take this one. And there you go. Last one. Now you can see that now has been secured. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, next, just undo. Now I have a screen room. So now I'm gonna roll these up so I have a nice bug-free screen room. So three sides of these have the screen room and the sun deflection. It has UV rays, so it's a UV coating so the UV rays don't go in. But as you can see, the screen also does come up. So you do that to all three sides. And so now, Carousel does come with the rug. So I'm going to put the rug down so it seems a little bit more homey. All right, so here's how I attach it to the barn doors. All right, so up here, I have a lot of excess. So what I do, so I don't block my solar panels in the front there, but I will roll it up. Just like I do with the sides, I'll roll it up, making sure that I don't snag anything. All right, now I open my doors. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Now. I have three magnets up here. Put that on. Now it's going to hold it. And these are really, really, really strong magnets. So don't think that you're going to do this with cheap ones because, yeah, it ain't going to work. And I put them in between so it doesn't scratch my top. So now it's got the rolls and that's good, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this, which are for wind. Normally, this would go under a hatchback, okay? But here's the trick how to get these through your barn doors. Take off the plastic things on both ends. Then what you're going to do is I feed it through this little hole right here and this one on this side.
Then what I do is I reattach each end of the plastic. Now the key with these things, when you look at the tab, you'll see one size has grooves and one side does not on the top. Make sure that the groove ones are facing that way. That way when you feed it through, you know how it feeds. This locks it in. So you go through that, up through there. And now it locks. So then I attach them, and then I'm going to give a good old yank. Now they won't go anywhere. Okay, the last thing is we need to put our top, um, I want to say they hold the top together. Okay, so it's a crisscross. And basically, you're going to take this right here and stick it into that hole over there and it's going to crisscross in the middle and there you go so that's going to keep the top from going side to side in the wind and everything else now a lot of people stick this down if you have big heavy items they can go on the ground in each corner and this sucker will not move so like i have my washing machine i have the starlink I've got um, a table and other things that will go out here, so I won't have to worry about any of that. I won't have to stick it down. However, if it's going to rain, I'm going to go ahead and put up the rain fly, which comes with it. It looks like nothing, because all it is, is a piece of plastic. This is where your poles go, okay, but literally... This goes up on the top, comes down, and now, now that puts a pitch in the roof so the rain can go down. But you'll have to put the rain fly. This is not seam sealed. So if it is a rain that's a heavy rain, it will leak if you do not seam seal it without the rain fly. But that's it. Well, that pretty much is it. So here's a time lapse of it putting it back into the bag. It's the same process, all it is is just reverse. So you take out the stanchions, you just pull the magnets, and then you just close everything up. I always leave one side open so the air can get out easy. And then do my famous taco, fortune cookie tuck and roll and just roll it into the bag and then that'll make it so much easier to get it back in the bag other than that i hope you got some value if you did hit the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can be notified of any other videos that i make and as always hey stop dreaming it and start living it bye